Today on Biomass Energy Journal, we're doing gasifier trials and testing. You're watching 20 kilowatts of electricity being generated by biomass. The next generation of small scale gasifiers like this Victory gasifier are turning waste into baseload energy and petroleum replacement fuels for two to three dollars a watt without subsidies. Some of the feedstocks we tested were animal bedding briquettes, this is horse manure and sawdust shavings, wood chips, we did some biochar, walnut shells, not pictured of corn cobs, and also some cubed up construction debris. So let's talk about some of the applications we can partner with this biomass energy platform. Of course, you have your combined heat and power gen set. This is a really common and cost effective solution, and this is market ready right now. Low grade biomass is best utilized for heating applications like boilers, kilns, and district heating. Biochar is an opportunity for biomass waste producers to turn their waste streams into a saleable product that sequesters carbon into the ground. Fuel cells hold the potential to increase efficiency while maintaining quiet operation and long service life. Turbines are good when you have a nice clean synthesis gas you're producing or you shift it over to natural gas. And of course there's new technologies coming online for indirectly fired turbines where there's a heat exchanger that's actually exchanging heat into the turbine without any fear of tarry gas or combustion particles getting on the turbine blades. And probably the most sought after application or solution for biomass is small scale biorefining, turning biomass into storable liquid fuels. So just for fun, we thought we'd put the machine through some testing. Here we're getting some of the results. The air coming out of the hot air heat exchanger to dry the chips is 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we're looking at the internal operating temperature of the unit. It's actually 1250 degrees centigrade. It's extremely hot and that's why we can break down tars and other byproducts and create a really high quality gas stream. Pressure drop here is about six on startup. And our gas outlet temperature is about 370 degrees centigrade. And that's before going to our high temperature filtering. Coming out of the filter, we're about 150 degrees centigrade. A couple other stats for you. Gas exit temperature about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and particulate sample was nine parts per million in the eighth hour. And don't forget to join us on October 12th in Portland, Oregon as we celebrate the Biomass Fuels Summit. We're going to be covering a lot of very important topics. Our industry is at a tipping point. It could go to the moon, it could deliver 36 billion gallons of biofuels, or this thing could get burned out right now between the economy and new regulation by the EPA. And so it's very important you come. We're going to be talking about green gasoline, policy, mandates, grants, and cutting edge technology. I'll be presenting on gasification day one. And for those of you who join us day two in the fuels workshop, we'll be using gasification to make liquid fuel.